New tonight, Omaha Mayor Jean Stother launching a new round of town hall meetings. Seven meetings will be held between now and November 2nd. Our Joe Chiodo listened in in Benson. That is my number one responsibility is to keep the citizens of Omaha safe. In Thursday's town hall, Mayor Jean Stother preached public safety as her main focus, noting in two years she will have increased the amount of police from 804 to 851. But still, violence concerns people, including right here in Benson. It almost hit me by about this be by that much, not So it was kind of a scary situation and it's frustrating. David DeBolt had a stray bullet end up in his house back in May. We talked to him and his wife so then, too. I was almost killed and taken out of my son's life. The violence needs to stop and people need to speak up. Another citizen brought up the incident at Daisy Jones Locker in Benson. A serial robber hit the store and stabbed the owner. But Chief Schmader says there is good news. Despite an increase in homicides, Omaha is on pace to have the lowest number of overall shootings in 10 years. It takes time. You can't sweep in one day and resolve all that. The mayor says they're also curbing gang violence. Remember there was that slew of bank robberies for a while and suddenly they stopped. And that was all gang related too. Much of the discussion controlling the budget. We are on track not only to be on budget in 2015, but to be slightly under budget. So she credits that to successful job. management of funds by the fire department. She says she's also added a million dollars for 2016 for street repairs and is also focusing on economic development, like the addition of HDR downtown and the issue of how to increase downtown parking. This citizen enjoys living downtown, but is concerned with trash pickup and snow removal. There may not be the awareness that there are quite a few people living there now. He's also one of 11,000 residents who moved to or within the city limits of Omaha since 2014, something the mayor says she wants to continue see happening. She also addressed tonight curbing unemployment. She says we have plenty of jobs available here. Now it's just bridging that gap because there are plenty of people that do need those jobs as well. And again, there are six more of these sessions set to be held by the end of the year. There's a list on this story. Just head to WWT.com. John Mallory, back to you.